Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS movie review from the South by Southwest Film Festival. Or well, again, I said before, over the last week or two, we have been immersed in everything from South by Southwest. So you're going to get reviews from myself, Sam, a couple of discussions from us about the film festival. But today I'm bringing you uh, possibly my favorite film from the film festival. Possibly. Uh, the name of this film is Recovery, and let me give you the quick synopsis, who stars in it, then we'll get into it. Two di directionless sisters brave a cross-country road trip to rescue their grandmother from a COVID outbreak at her nursing home, and it stars Whitney Call and Mallory Everton, and Mallory Everton and Stephen Meek also directed this film. Um, let me start off by saying... This is one of the funniest road trip films I've seen in a pretty long period of time. These two young ladies are amazing in this movie. Everything about it brought joy in a very painful, serious situation of having to attempt to rescue someone from a COVID outbreak. So, quickly, the movie starts off with uh, one of the sisters' 30th birthday, and this is before the COVID outbreak. So she is just like railing off things that she's looking forward to doing during the course of the year. And clearly it it's not only tongue in cheek, it's kind of spot on for everything that COVID took away, including a joke about, you know, happy that Tom Hanks is still healthy. Like it, it's, it's really spot on the jokes, but they land so well because of these two chemistry when they talk with one another. And then we forward to what happens during COVID and everyone being in lockdown and how their lives have changed. And then we're introduced to a situation where their grandmother is in a nursing facility that has a huge outbreak of COVID. And when I say the hijinks start, they start and they never stop from that point on. One, it's, it's a very deadpan type comedic film where they're not jokes just to be jokes at times but they all fit in the flow of the story and fit so well like between them two between introduction of another sister who has some of the most hilarious scary scenes humanly possible in this movie to the things that the grandmother is going through at the nursing home to the nurse on the call at the nursing home and the other people at the nursing home on the call like this movie, everything that happens in this movie is funny. And just to see these two young ladies go on this cross-country trip, while not just focusing on the cross-country trip, and I think that's the best part of it. You have one sister who's dealing with having uh, one of her nine-year-old students develop a very unhealthy relationship with her in a funny way, in an extremely funny way. And everything that's discussed in that area is hilarious. Then you have the other sister who met a guy before COVID, and then things didn't go the way she thought they would go, and that leads to another set of hijinks. Like, it, it's just funny to be funny. This is, it's very reminiscent for me of a better version of Due Date, if you remember the movie with Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis, I think I said his name right. It's a better road trip version of that film. It reminded me of all the road trip movies I used to love in like the late 90s, early 2000s, like those type of road trip movies where hijinks happen, things happen, and they're all funny. And you have very funny supporting characters that help push the plot forward, but in no time does it feel dragged down or that the jokes are just unnecessary. This is a great COVID-related comedy, and I know that sounds bad for some people, but I think it's amazing for the time and the day and age that we're in that someone decided to write a script this good, surrounded by something that is a nightmare for anyone to have to go through, of thinking of a loved one being trapped in a facility with COVID during a COVID outbreak at that facility. Like, it's a scary situation, but that's what makes the best comedies, is taking situations that are horrifying to think of and flipping it and making it into a comedy. And that's why this works so well. Uh, recovery. Um, I don't... I 
don't recall it having distribution yet. I'm pretty sure it's going to get distribution. if it, By the time this review drops, if it doesn't have distribution, I can't imagine it going a week without someone picking up this movie. But Recovery from the South by Southwest Film Festival, out of a possible 10, I'm going to give Recovery an 8 out of 10. This movie is really, really good. Really, really funny. It, it's one of those old school, again, old school road trip type of movies that you could get around with a bunch of family members and friends and watch and enjoy. And the hijinks are extremely funny, including the random white dancing. And I know that doesn't sound right to some people, but white people, y'all know how y'all be dancing. And the music that y'all listen to while y'all dance and never catching a beat or never catching a rhythm. And they do a scene here where they have just said, with reckless abandonment, we're not even going to attempt to catch a beat or rhythm. And it's still funny. It, it, it works so well for everything that they've gone through in this movie. And again, I think anyone who sees it will enjoy it. So again, whenever distribution is mentioned, we'll try to update um, the description bar below to let you all know where you can catch this movie. But until then, peace, people.